here's the thing, folks. Back in the day, back in back in the day, YouTube when we were when we were doing YouTube videos, doing commentaries, we were just kids, you know, doing these videos. Uh, we kept getting these copyright strikes. All right, uh, Trump doesn't know anything about that. He doesn't. He can ask the guy about a copyright strike. He has no idea. All right, he's privileged. He hasn't had to deal with that. Right. This is what I'm gonna sound like in 60 years when I'm telling my grandkids, or wait a minute, great grandkids about copyright strikes on YouTube. Okay. I'm gonna sound like Dementia Joe. And the reason for that is these have caused me quite some, uh, some emotional distress, all right? But I gotta talk about something, and it's a problem on YouTube. If you're a YouTube creator, you've probably dealt with this issue before. It's, uh, it's a real big one. It's a serious problem. So, a few days ago, I uploaded a video that was about, like, Call of Duty zombies or something. I'll throw, like, a screenshot up or something. It was, like, problem with zombies in 2024 or something. It was a shorts video, okay? It got some really good views right off the bat. I think it got 3 or 4k views right away. Maybe a little more. And then it got pulled off. Okay? I went to my channel to see how it was doing. I was like, oh, I wonder how that shorts video is doing. I look and, what? It's not there. So, I check my email. All right, I check my email and I see a message from YouTube or an email from YouTube rather and guess what it is You're never gonna guess you won't guess you're not gonna guess Well, it was a copyright strike. That's right somebody copyright striked my zombies video and you might be wondering you're like well Nick There's zombies channels everywhere. Why would Activision Blizzard choose to strike you? Okay, it wasn't Black Ops 6 gameplay, it was Black Ops 1. It wasn't like I was, you know, showing the fucking unreleased, uh, heresy-ass footage that nobody's allowed to see. No, I was just playing Black Ops 1 on my fucking Xbox Series X, just chilling out, doing a shorts video. Uh, and the entity who striked it was claiming to be Activision Blizzard, but was definitely not. Now, I can't give this person's personal information out, obviously, but the person had, like, an old bitch uh, name for their email. It was like, obviously, it's not this. I'm paraphrasing. It's a different name that I'm using on purpose. But imagine if it was, like, Gertrude69 at gmail.com. And I'm like, yeah, Gertrude does not have the copyright for this fucking, like, game that I'm playing. So I know that some shit's going on, right? Like, right off the bat. That's what I was thinking. So I submit a counter notification, and I tell YouTube, hey... Look, this is not copyright. This is an old game. Like, at this point, this is not... Nobody's copyright striking this, right? This person doesn't work for Activision, blah, blah, blah. Boom, denied. Right away, they denied it. And the thing is, like, YouTube used to accept pretty much anything for a counter notification, if I'm remembering right, because I remember having to deal with these strikes on some of my old channels. Now, they're, it's like, almost like they expect you to submit, like, a full legal document, like, explaining that you're ready to go to war in court with this person if they don't retract their copyright claim or for, or go to court against you. And so I'm sitting there looking at this denied thing and I'm like, okay, well they denied it. So I look up a university's like template for uh, a counter copyright strike notification thingy, like a counter notification or whatever to like a DMCA strike. And I do up this like document that f it looks official as fuck. I mean, I have it saved and you guys probably will think I'm dumb if I show you what it says and everything, but it like, it was very official. Okay. I read it and I was like, dude, if I got this notification from myself, I'd be shitting bricks. It's going to be fine. Right? So I send it into them denied again. And so last night, you know what I did? I did their stupid copyright school bullshit so the strike will expire because you have to do this thing called copyright school and then uh, three months from when you do the copyright school, your strike will expire, right? It's something like that. And I'm like, great, I have a fucking strike on my channel and I didn't even do anything. At least it's not a community guideline strike, right? At least it's not from me calling someone the N-word or, you know, doing something I shouldn't have been doing, whatever. And I make peace with it, I go to bed, and I wake up and I have an email from YouTube telling me, hey, this guy actually was striking down videos that he shouldn't have been. And they they literally list out like a million videos that this guy struck down, mine included, and said like, sorry, we're reinstating your video. And so I go look at my shorts video and now it has even more views and I'm super happy. But I'm, I, I couldn't help but think, like if this guy didn't get greedy with his striking and he just kept it to my channel and just struck me, he wouldn't have even gotten caught, man. Like, he could have just struck down a bunch of my videos, gotten my channel banned, and I would have had no way of even 
you know, getting this to YouTube because number one, I'm banned from YouTube AdSense for invalid click activity, which I don't even know what that means still years after being banned for that. So I have no way of contacting, like I'm not a partner at YouTube. I have no way of contacting them. They deny all of your counter notification claims, even though it's like a legal thing that you're saying, hey, I didn't do anything in this shit. You need to like tell this person, take me to court. And they'll deny that no matter what it seems like, unless you get like a lawyer to actually draft up a legally binding contract and send it to YouTube. Like I couldn't help but feel like helpless still, even after this strike got removed. Like somebody could just do this to me, man. Somebody could just wake up and say, hey, uh, I decided that I'm Activision Blizzard and I'm going to strike down so-and-so's gameplay and get their channel possibly banned from YouTube. Because if you guys don't know how this works, I believe if you get two strikes, they limit your uploading, but if you get three, boom, your channel's gone. Like, it is gone. They will delete it. I think they give you a few days before they delete it or something, but I'm 90% sure it's three strikes and you're out. And this is a big deal to me. I take YouTube, like, very seriously. It's something that I really enjoy doing in my free time. I don't make any money from it right now, but it was just very, like, irritating to see that somebody can affect me in such a negative way. And YouTube was denying my counter notifications, and then they did their own little investigation on this guy and realized, oh, <laughs> I guess all the people submitting counter notifications for their videos saying, hey, this is a fraud, were right. And that's why they reinstated my video and everything. So it's just really funny that, like, like I guess the system worked as intended in this case, so I can't really shit on YouTube too much, but this type of thing shouldn't even be possible. Nobody should be able to pull my video down if they don't actually own the copyright for whatever I'm uploading. And number two, this was all covered under fair use. It wasn't like I was ripping like some sort of um, copyright thing that nobody's supposed to have access to and uploading it to YouTube. It was zombies gameplay from a fucking game that released in 2011 or whatever, dude. Another big problem with this kind of thing is you can't actually submit a counter to a copyright strike unless you give the person who struck you your full address and all kinds of different personal information. So if somebody really just wanted to dox you, they could set this whole thing up and dox you because you're obviously going to submit a counter notification and they get all of that info to my understanding that you submit to YouTube which includes your address and all of this other stuff because one of these strikes or a counter notification to a strike is both seen as like a legally binding process so you have to provide all of this personal info all you get if you're a creator that gets striked on the other hand is the person's email address and you get told to go fuck yourself I, it's just crazy to me that we're, it, we're in 2024 and youtube system is still more broken than ever when it comes to copyright and stuff but let me know what you guys think down in the comments i would love to hear other than that guys make sure you leave a like comment subscribe share this video with your friends and favorite 98% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed so if you would hit the subscribe button I would really appreciate it we'll see you guys next video and peace the hell out